life. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Woo! That was fucking insane. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Did you feel that in your chest? Oh my god! Yes, I did. Oh my god! They didn't have partnerships up until around January of 2008. I think two things that made me popular quickly was, one is I already had a viral video called The Redneck Roller Coaster that was 23 seconds long that was on 240,000 different websites all over the internet. So I went on YouTube with no expectation to ever make an income just to express my hobby and what I'm doing because I had 16 or 17 years worth of videos I've been making at the farm. And I, so I went on and within a couple weeks I had 150 videos put on YouTube because I had so many old videos. This movie is about parenting, in one way or another. It's about David Rock of London, Ontario, Canada, and the struggles he's gone through, and the fight he's going through to be with his kids. Well, I, my goal was to actually become famous enough that my children would find me. I had no monetary goal going on YouTube because I never imagined getting paid. There was no such thing. So my goal was to become so famous on YouTube that there's no way my ex-girlfriends could hide my children from me. They would have to find me, and that and it worked. The website YouTube is full of videos of outrageous stunts. Now an Ontario man is tapping into the trend with remarkable results. Dave Rock's claim to fame is smashing, wrecking, and blowing things up, and it's made his YouTube website the most watched in Canada. Rock says he does it for fun, but as CTV's John Benavalli Rao reports, he's laughing all the way to the bank. While many farmers are still growing corn this time of year, David Rock is using his fields to grow his fan base. I call it a redneck resort. This is insane. Here you'll find a collection of homemade stunt cars. It's probably the most famous farm in Canada. A farm David put up on YouTube, along with videos of toilets he's blown up, cars he and his buddies have crushed. How old are you? I'm 47, but that's on the outside. I think I feel like about 17. And it's yielding David a bounty of cash. <laughs> A lot of people don't comprehend it. You can make money off YouTube. Check out this check for the month of July. That one's 14,229 US dollars for a month's pay for being on YouTube. A while back, YouTube began making deals with some of its top users to share in the site's ad money. Ads that pay pennies per view, but add up. Well, that's my YouTube empire. All run by four $250 Canon cameras. If no one murders me or something because they're jealous, I could be making a million bucks a year really soon. Not bad for a guy who's been collecting and fixing up junk for years. His most famous invention, the redneck roller coaster. <laughs> David also bought this old school bus for 600 bucks and drove it up a ridiculously steep hill. That alone got half a million hits. That bus has made me close to $7,000 now off YouTube videos. So it Within... Uh, a year and a half became Canada's most popular YouTuber and also the most popular person in the world in the automotive category on YouTube. David Rock, on his 48th birthday in 2009, 
was looking for good lawyers to represent him. His fan base at the time was about 72,000 subscribers on YouTube. It's now, in just six months, 80,000 plus subscribers. Now everyone loves money. And this can be yours. This is my reward money. I am paying lawyers in London and in Calgary a lot of money to solve the case and find my missing son that Evelyn Van B stole. This wasn't the first time, thankfully, that Dave had a woman, an ex-girlfriend in particular, take a child away from him. Thankfully, he knew what to do. He posted a video about it on YouTube, saying, Go find this chick and I'll give you money. Imagine all the beer you could buy with this reward. Oh, beer. Sweet. This video was actually evidence enough for the mother of the child to get a restraining order against Dave. But he just didn't know what to do. Cool. But we'll cover more of Dave's baby mom issues later on in the film. My father was physically abusive. And that would flow over towards us too and the kids would get hit sometimes. I can remember my mother getting beat up from the age of three. That's as far as my memory goes back. I can remember even getting toilet trained and I can remember, uh, I can remember not even being able to reach the, the light switches to turn on lights to go into the bathroom. There was times when we went for walks you know that was great memories with him in childhood. He would show me. He would do small repairs on his cars, and of course I was really technical and liked that kind of thing. And he wasn't an expert, but he could change a water pump, a radiator, a battery, change the oil, change the spark plugs, a tire. Well, I was pretty proud when he graduated from high school without even studying ever. 